What's good, guys? Look, I've been gone for a minute. I haven't been on the YouTube game. Been working hard, trying to get to this paper, you know? But I figured it was time for a little update. The fat quad is officially gone. We do not have a fat quad anymore. I ended up, you know, trading with the homie Vic, found me a cool little bike. And I've been wanting this one for a minute. It's that monster quad. And it's the one I wanted too, the blue joint. What's funny is when I got the fat quad, this was the other bike that was in the shop. But I wanted the fat quad more. But after, you know, riding the fat quad for about a year, year and a half, it just, you know, turned out to be too small of a bike for me. I'm six foot, I'm six foot four. So, you know, trading to this 29er with the big tires too, it's perfect and I always wanted this uh this frame right here you know that that quad angle or whatever they call it you know the monster quad frame right here you know I have the monster ripper and uh you know they're kind of almost the same you know as far as you know the wheels tires and all the parts on the bike you know but uh the difference between this bike and the monster ripper is that the monster quad has that quad angle frame Super nice blue color, you know. I was super happy with the trade. No weird stuff. The frame is in good condition. Got a few little scratches here and there, but honestly, I'm, I'm super happy with it. I, uh, I ended up putting a, a, a 180 millimeter uh, rotor on the back, Ice Tech. This came off the front of my fat quad, so I ended up, you know, putting this rotor on here and uh, getting the conversion kit, as you can see here, it sits up a little higher so that it can fit on the bike. Um, I got the pegs on there, chain tensioners, some SE chain tensioners. Uh, I went ahead and got the, uh, this is the KK710 KMC chain. Uh, that's brand new, literally just put it on like 30 minutes ago. Shout out to my guy Vic at Vic's Bike Shop in Pomona off of Temple. He, he get, he get it right, you know what I'm saying? You know what he's doing. Got the clear pedals on there. You know, I'm gonna put clear grips too. I'm just waiting for them to come in the mail. So for right now, we just rocking with the ODIs. You know, Tektros are, they feel like they're brand new. This bike is in super good condition. Um, put these bars on here. These were also from my fat quad. You know, they're like a 9.5 uh, four piece. I feel like they go super good with this bike too. With that quad angle frame with the four piece bars. And then everything else is stock. I plan on uh, maybe getting a different chain ring. For now, I'm gonna keep the stock chain ring that's on there. Oh, I put the Thompson seat uh, seat post on there. You know, it's got the little layback. I'm pretty tall, so, you know, with the layback seat and the big bars, the spike is perfect for me. Got the Monster Ripper seat. I mean, uh, the Monster Quad seat. Um, I'm actually gonna end up swapping this out. I'm gonna get a Mafia seat. I don't know what it is, man, but well, I know what it is. Mafia just makes super nice uh, seats. Like, it's uh, the seat I'm getting is all black suede, so I feel like that's gonna look sick. Even I don't like mixing brands too much, but you know, you gotta go with the Mafia seat. I ain't gonna lie. This one's nice, but it's peeling a little bit. I could probably glue that back down, but it's peeling a little bit. And then also too, like, it's too slippery. That's why I put that rubber band on there. Shout out Frank's Bike Shop. Frank's Bike Shop, love the haters, uh, rubber band. But yeah, uh, you know, I plan on putting some Dior's on here, get rid of these Texos, get some nice Dior's on there. And uh, if, if it comes to it, I'm gonna give me a, a nice little profile hub. Well, I don't know, I might get a different hub because my other bike has a profile on it. And uh, sometimes I just, you know, I wanna move in silence, you know what I'm saying? So I might, you know, might not get a profile hub, but I do wanna get something with a, a quicker engagement, you know, so I can, I'm not having that. That, that slack in between, you know? But yeah, this is the build as of right now. I'm having fun, I actually really like this bike. You know, I'm gonna leave it like this for now with the tires, but in a little while I'm gonna put hookworms on it so we can really, you know, get to swerving on it. Cause this bike is cool, but I don't know about these tires when it comes to swerving. Like when I start swerving, I can literally, I can hear the tires like not being in contact with the ground, you know? Like you can hear the like on the side, once they uh, <laughs> when they, once they uh, once 
once they start getting on the sidewall, like when you start swerving, like you can, you can low key feel it. So the hookworms, they aren't as wide. I wish they had a wide hookworm, like 2.8 size hookworm. That'd be crazy, but it would be cool. 2.5, the homie dad Mo said they actually measured to about 2.7, uh, 2.65 when uh, on these big, on these big rims, on the monster rims. So, but I got hookworms on the Monster Ripper, which is similar build and that bike is fun. So I'm gonna get these brakes right on here and uh, get those tires, hopefully a hub down the line and we're gonna do it like that. But this gonna be like, this my uh, beat it up bike, you know? Like this bike, I feel like I could jump it. I feel like I don't wanna scratch it, but if it does, I'm not really tripping cause I didn't get it brand new off the box. It's already got scratches on it. So I'm not even really tripping like that. As long as it looks clean, you know, uh, took those stickers off. The blue, like on the camera, it looks like really bright, but it's it's a, actually a lot deeper. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. You feel me? We out here riding. Went to the gym today. Uh, you know, ran some errands. Took this thing to the shop, put my, put the chain on. And of course had to come down to uh, Benelli Park you know, to get that test drive. But it's getting dark right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and start heading back to the car. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.